An update now to a story we're following about physicians at the Medical College of Georgia working with the Polaris Dawn spaceflight mission, which returned this week. Bria Smith spoke with the doctors and joins us now in the studio with more. Bria? Jenny, the Polaris Dawn mission returned to Florida Space Coast yesterday morning, and that includes the unique ultrasound device created by physicians and researchers at AUMCG. Not only was it the highest um, mission since Apollo in 1972, um, it was the first civilian spacewalk, it was the first civilian medical experiments in space, as, along with many other things. This is the retina of the eye, this is where you make images, and then the nerve takes those images, you know, electronic signals back to the brain. Spaceflight associated neuroocular syndrome or SANS impacts more than 70% of astronauts causing what doctors think might be structural changes in the brain, ultimately causing changes in, in travel, vision. So none, of, none of our um, astronauts uh, would be expected to show any symptoms of that. But what we're looking for is the fluid shift that would predispose somebody to SANS. So if we see that fluid shift and, and some of the experiments that we did was looking to see um, if we could measure the amount of fluid shift. If we can measure the amount of fluid shift, then this was a success. The space flight was delayed a few times with the expected departure date for August 27th, but it didn't launch from Florida Space Everything Coast until day. September 10th. This was a special mission because they had to do a spacewalk. So everything that they needed for the whole mission they had to take with them, including all their air and oxygen. So when they were looking at takeoff, they had to plan on their landing because they could only stay in space for seven days because that's all the supplies they had. So if there was any kind of delay, that could be bad. Dr. Matthew Lyon says they look forward to seeing what the data shows and the outcome of this experiment. It's really a privilege to be able to be part of such an amazing, innovative um, mission. Now, Dr. Lyon does say it will take quite a few months to collect all the data from the ultrasound device on this mission before they can prove this to be a dependable, dependable detector for SANS. Jenny?